Welcome back to the AKJ podcast of Look Who's Talking. <laughs> and I always say that when you uh, when you say that, you know, my podcast now, I ask that you say it just like that. Look who's talking. <laughs> I'm your boy AKJ. Um, so, the courage to be disliked. Let's go. Subject that you know that means a lot to me, of uh, of of the courage to be disliked. I have realized that, uh, and I'm, I'm just gonna be completely honest, um, that um, I am not the most uh, liked person, of, you know, in my media circles that I used to be a part of, like. Uh, Let's say, um, like I'm not really liking my fraternity all that much. That's to be honest with you. Uh, even though people say, "Oh, we love you. We, you know, we just want you to be great. We just want you to be, you know, everything. We just want you to be successful." But like, actions uh, mean louder than words. Uh, so, you know, if you show me, you know, something different than what you're saying, I'm not gonna, uh, I'm not gonna, you know take what you say seriously and when you t- and then when people say oh we just love you we, we you know we love you i don't believe that uh you know I, I i look at you the full package i'm gonna give you an example uh and it's gonna be personal uh if you don't you know like it you can always log off or get off my page uh and that's i'm not trying to be mean but like i'm this is my pocket is for you know people to get to know who, who i am and as a person and uh and the experiences i've been through so I'm gonna give you an example of a recent um, um, thing. Uh, my line brother recently just got married to uh, his wife, girlfriend, Latonic, whatever her name is, and uh, he. I was supposed to be one of his uh, groomsmen, uh, and uh, after I, as time like went on, I haven't heard anything from him. I don't know what's going on. Uh, I don't know what time we were meeting to uh, to uh, to go get fitting for our tux and stuff like that. So I didn't know exactly what's going on. And as time got closer and closer, like you know, I, I you know they sent out you no know, uh, like the invitation for like the wedding, so like you know you can know what like exactly what's going on. So I had went to the website, put my address in, I put all my information in, and I waited uh, for. My invitation to my own LB's wedding never got one, uh, and then I, uh, as time got closer to his wedding, uh, I, I was constantly uh, talking to him, you know, in communication with, like, you know, where is the wedding at, so I can make sure I'm there, even though I'm not, you know, you didn't, you, you know, you pretty much dissed me of, you know, of getting, uh, uh, of, of being your groomsman, basically, and I was like, okay, well, if I can't be a groomsman, can I at least come to your wedding to support my LB? Didn't to get the invite, didn't get a response, you know, from him. Uh, and so I was like, okay, well, well, maybe uh, he just didn't want me there, uh, to be honest with you. So I'm like, okay, that's fine. Uh, so I um, hit him up again to see, like, where the wedding was and uh, stuff like that. Now, like, mind you, like, when I saw it, when he did get married, my LB, Fred, when he did get married, I had logged on Facebook and I saw not only did my I see my LB who got married, but I saw my two other LBs in the picture with him. Now, if you were me in my shoes and you saw that your LB, this is for the people who are Greek, and you don't have to be Greek, but if 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 you if you have a friend who you're supposed to be close with get married, and you you saw two of your two other your, your of your friends in the picture with your with your your one of your friends, and you're not there. How would you feel? 
you you will think that's messed up, won't you? That you you will think that you know you did everything you can, and then you know if it was a problem between you and that person, you would think that person would come to you and talk to you about, hey, we have an issue. I would like to talk to you about it. But no, these these are the people who are the type. Not just I'm not talking about my fraternity or uh, my or my my chapter. I'm talking about just people you know who have a problem with me. What they would do is tell somebody else that they have a problem with me and what I did supposedly did to them. But when I see you in person, oh, to see a man, you know, ah, like that's, that's called being fake, bro. And the problem that people have with me is when I call you out on it, then, oh, Adrian doing too much, or Adrian doing this, he, uh, he mentally retarded, or he's crazy, or he's doing that. But that's, that's, that's only when I call you out on your BS. And I call my your BS. Uh, uh, matter of fact, I didn't call him out on immediately. I said, okay. When I, when I saw him again after his wedding, I said, oh, LB, I'm so sorry, man. I'm, I'm sorry I missed your wedding, man. He was like, you know, it's, it's all right. You didn't miss me. You, you didn't miss nothing. I didn't miss nothing. You got married. The fuck you mean I didn't miss nothing? I didn't miss nothing. I didn't miss a life-changing moment with my own LB when you got married. What the fuck is wrong with you? So I got a problem with like with stuff like that. But when I call people out on they on they when they BS, it's a whole problem. I'm not trying I, like now. You know, I'm not angry about it now. This is just how I feel at the moment. You know what I mean? So uh, today uh, we're gonna be talking about the courage to be disliked. Because after that, I, I just you know like I'm like okay, I'm done. Like I'm done trying to be that person who who is trying to be liked by everybody. I'm done trying to be that person who's trying to you know. Make everybody like me because I don't know. Just because I'm that person uh, who has to be like, like I was done with that shit. Like, I'm, I'm done with that shit. I'm saying exactly what I want to say to you, how I want to say it to you, and when I want to say it to you. And I'm saying it to, to your face. I'm not going to go talk to your friend. I'm not going to talk to anybody else who's uh, who you associate yourself with. I'm coming to you. I'm going to talk to you. And I told Fred that. And I told him to him face like, like, bro, like you, that's not cool. And it's not cool. And then he's been doing a whole bunch of other stuff too. That that's been like just pure disrespectful. And I'm not gonna put that. I'm not gonna put up with his disrespectful shit either. So uh, it's a book called um, "The Courage to Be Dislike," and I'm gonna give you five lessons from it. All right. I didn't read the book per se, but I just saw the title of it, and I just you know, all right, you know, I liked it. So um, one. The first lesson is, accept you cannot please everyone. And that was my problem when I was, uh, before now, uh, when I was uh, uh, involved in my university, uh, which that's a whole nother, that's a whole nother issue that I wanna, I'm going to get into uh, with them. It's, uh, it's, and I, I know if, I know what I, I know what I did on, on, the, on the campus of Harris though, but like, the staff should have some balls to come talk to me uh should have some boss to come talk to me about whatever issue that you had with me. Uh, and stop talking to the whole entire staff, who all of them are messy anyway. Um, and, and, and come talk to me about what the, the problem that you had with me. Because I'm not going to tell you anything. All I'm going to do is treat you like how I want to treat you, which I have been doing for the past whatever, however many times I've been up there. But I'm not going up there again. So uh, let's go. let's go with that. But one, it says, uh, except you cannot please everyone. To say yes to everything and everyone is setting yourself up to f for fail. To be true to yourself means to accept how you feel, expressing your truth, and accepting everyone is not going to agree with you or, or see the world in the same way you do. Agree to disagree. And life is then much simpler. People have a problem with uh, just uh, agreeing to disagree. Like when I get into it with people, it's always Adrian, you're wrong. Adrian, you're wrong. But it can't never be like I'm not, I'm not going to agree with what the fuck you have to say. 
Like you're wrong in my eyes, but I'm not finna sit here and say like you're wrong, you're wrong, and be that be the dead horse for like a, a century. Like just agree to disagree and move the fuck on. Period. Two, discover all relationship problems mirror inside conflict. The view, uh, uh, the view offered is that we can create we create relationships as as means to get to know ourselves. This problems, these this problems we think that okay, these problems we think we have in with others point to our in unconscious uh, resistance to accept parts of our shadows. I had to read that again in order to understand. Sometimes I have to read things more than one time just to you know get an understanding of what I'm reading. I, you know, back then I was kind of slow. You know, I want to say I was slow. I was just it took. I I learned differently back then, so that's why you know I almost failed the second grade. That's something, that's something that you know everybody should know about me. I almost failed the second grade only because I was at Barrington now. Barrington, I just I, I wasn't learning for real. Um, three, see the seeking recognition is an ego trap, and, and I can't say I used to do that. I used to always um, look for recognition with people. You know, I, I did this, I did that. Now I don't really care. And now, like even when I do like you no know, community service and stuff, now like I don't post it on social media now, like because like. When you help people, people don't want to be on social media all day. Like no, nobody wants to be on your social media getting help. You no, know, you no, know, from you. Like that's kind of embarrassing. Like no, I have to get help from people to uh, to move forward. So, um, yeah, just like stop trying to seek recognition. Like stop trying. Like we don't care. Or well, I, especially me, I don't care. Like what you be doing. Like if if it's you no, know, if you ain't Jesus, I don't care. If it's your job, do your job and stop trying to seek recognition. I don't care. That's just my opinion. Um, instead of seeking recognition, pinpoint why you do not recognize yourself as you are. Why you, why you resist recognizing and celebrating what you have already achieved or why you resist giving yourself recognition. What is, what is wrong with just giving yourself recognition? Recognize yourself. Good job, Adrian. You did good. Pat, your, pat yourself on the back. Like I, I'm learning slowly that I don't really need you no know, like you no know, like and that and like I slowly been like trying to get off Facebook and um I have been off Instagram for a while now and uh, I only I'm only really on Snapchat. You know I have a small community there. Uh, like I see everybody who sees my stuff and that's why I really like like if I if I really want to post something that's, that's petty or mean I'll post it where I can see who's watching it. I, and it, well, it's not really petty on me, but it's just like like when I really want to say something like to a specific person, I'll post it where I know I can see you watching it, and I know that you saw it. It might be petty, I don't really care, but like people do stuff to me, and they expect me not to do nothing. Like people had like when I uh, people my own lbs had went inside my stuff and it stole from me, they expect me just to be okay with it. It's, it's been done a number of times, but if I say something about it, guess who's wrong about it? It's me for saying something to you about it. It's been going on for years, but if, if I say something, if, I, if you do something to me and I bring it up to you, oh, Adrian, you always complain about something. You always doing something. You always, oh, my God, oh, yes. I'm gonna tell you every time you be fucking up, cause that they love to tell me every time, every time I do something wrong. Eddie, you shouldn't have did that. You shouldn't have said that. You shouldn't have did that at all. Why do you say that? Don't do that. This is why people don't like you. This is right here. I don't give a fuck. Fuck you. And I'm not ashamed to say fuck you. If you don't like, if you only say fuck, get off my shit. Period. Okay, I'm, I'm tired of being quiet. Like that's that's what that was. That was my problem. I was always quiet about stuff. I I always let stuff go, always. But as soon as I said something, it was always a problem. People got a problem because I don't say happy birthday to them, or happy anniversary, or whatever the fuck else. I don't know if you don't tell me. 
The only time I see people on birthdays on Facebook is when I actually click on it. I have to, to be on that page. That's the only time I'm ever on Facebook is when that happens. It's the same thing with my mama. Like, I can literally, like, God gave me the gift of discernment. And for years, me and my mom be in the same house, but we do not know each other. We do not know each other. We was uh, She was on a one floor, I was on another floor. When she came downstairs, I went upstairs. Because she was always doing stuff just to piss me off. And then when you get you get mad why I didn't do stuff, because I never taught me a damn thing, neither did my daddy. We didn't teach me shit. I raised myself. I taught myself how to cook. I taught myself how to clean. I taught myself how to drive. Because they refused to fucking do it. And when I bring it up to them, oh, I can't let you drive because the insurance policy and all the insurance policy, I just can't, I can't let you do it. But my brother was driving every goddamn where he pleased. But I was wrong for bringing that up to her. My brother got all type of new stuff in his room. And then even in, when, when we was, my brother was living there, my brother got his own room. My brother had all new furniture. And what did Adrian get? The hand-me-downs. Was, that's what most, you know, little brothers do. But like all the time. I had to fight for everything. But like when when shit hit the fan, oh, it's Adrian's fault. Oh, Adrian. And then when the end of the set, that's the same thing that happened when um when the my, the day that I got kicked out of my uh the, the, the uh, my step uh, my mama house because my I had clowned the shit out of my of uh, of her husband, William, who's a bitch ass nigga. Clown the shit out of him. The dude gonna come in. The one time something happened, he gonna say like, "Adrian, sit down and let me tell you something." I looked him straight in the eye and said, "No, I'm good," and walked the fuck off. You can't just try to get respect for me. You got to earn that shit for me, especially me. I don't know you. I don't fuck with you. And if I had a chance, I would straight up fight you. And but then I want to share all hit the fan. We don't know what Adrian's talking about. Everything is fine over here. Now that's not the fuck. What what the fuck I've been saying? You don't even sleep in the same. Let me let me get out. Let me get out the same. Let me get the, the. Let me get it off. But no, I'm just tired. It's just always when shit when shit happens. It's always Adrian's fault, and I'll take the blame. Of, you know when I am wrong, but I never say a word about anything to anybody when they do me wrong. I have to accept. How people treat me when my mom or my frat brothers or my chapter brothers or my line, my LBs have something to say about the, the wrong things or I'm mentally dis, or I'm mentally not here or I'm mentally I'm very aware of what's going on. I'm very aware because I see and I watch everything. I observe everything. I observe your, your behavior. I observe everything, and I know when people are doing wrong. I know, and I know when people are doing wrong. You get mad because I have a thing to tell you about yourself, and I when I tell you about yourself, it's a fucking problem. And then you don't want to talk to me, or you want to be, you want to be around me, or you, you then you go and try to drag my name to the dirt because I tell you about yourself. And then you try to tell me about myself. I tell you I don't care because I only listen to people who actually have my best interests at heart. Oh, we do. We we have your best interest at heart. We love you. We we just want to make sure you're okay. That's a fucking lie. Love is not. That's not love at all. When you tear somebody down, when you try to stop them from making their from doing their destiny, when you talk crazy about them behind your back and then get in front of them and try to act like you know like you like you love them or like you, like you just so happy to see them. Adrian, oh, it's good to see you. It's good to see you. I know it's not because he was talking shit last time I was talking. Last time I, I saw you, they tell me what the fuck you be saying. Don't be fake. I'm not a fake person. I am not a fake person at all. What you get is what you is what is what you um what you get. It's what um is what is what is what you see. It's like I'm a, I'm an authentic person. I tell you exactly what I think, how I feel. And if you brush off how I feel or what I think about you, then that's how I know it. That's how you are as a person. I don't want to be around you. 
And if you were sitting there around a, a person, you know, a, or a group of people, it's because I see how they fucking are. And I want to be around that person. I have not been around my my my, uh, my LB Fred in months because he what he's been doing is fucked up, and I don't gonna fuck with that. All my LBs like I don't, I'm not I'm I'm never around them because they are fucked up, all of them, and I, I'm not I'm not ashamed to say that shit. I'm calling it what I I'm, I'm saying what I see, and not how I feel. This is why I believe this is fact. I'm not scared to be disliked no more. I'm, I'm tired of this shit. I'm, I'm tired of it. I'm, I'm not scared. I'm, I'm tired of not being able to, 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 to speak the way I want to speak because if I say shit off, Adrian just says shit. He just said fuck. He just said all that on, on, on you can't say that about us. You can't do that. Fuck you. I had a whole problem with the president of Harris Stowe before because like this nigga been talking shit and being fake. Like I'm not I'm not ashamed to say that shit. Like like if you have if you have a problem with me, I have no problem coming to your face and talking telling you about it. And if I want to be fake, shit, you being fake, why can't I be fake? I'm a mirror of who you are. I mirror people. If you treat me a certain way, I'm gonna treat you the same exact way. I think that's fair. Because as soon as you do it, why can't I do it? Let me get off my soapbox for a second. So, I have a, um, a video that uh, I, I try to just share it on Facebook to where people can know, where people can see it. Uh, but, like, uh, well, people who go on live with me, just bear with me. You have to listen to what uh, the video is saying. I'm going to post the, the link to it online. So here it is. Oh, yeah, I think I can say it. Hold on a second. Hey, it's Robin Sharma, author of The Leader Who Had No Title, founder of the Titan Academy, and welcome to this mastery session. This mastery session is all about the value of being disliked. So here's a brain tattoo I want to offer to you with Sorry for that line right there. respect. You can be a change maker. You can be liked by everyone around you. You don't get to do both. We live in a society that loves to be liked. We seek likes on the social media. We want people to follow us. We want everyone around us to applaud us. We have this deep-seated fear of conflict. Now, this is a neurobiological wiring. It allowed us to function in a community in the days when we were out on the savanna, and if we strayed from the tribe, we would be eaten by saber-toothed tigers. This neurobiological instinct allowed us to continue when if we strayed from the herd, we would starve, okay? But now we are in the modern world, we want to innovate, we want to be A players, we want to own our craft, we want to bring on our best, and yet we have this deep need of rising above the cult of average. And we live in a world right now where there are so few people willing to be disliked. Here's another idea I want you to wire in as a core belief. Every visionary was once ridiculed before they were revered. I'm going to repeat that again because I believe it's so important for you as an A player. Every visionary was initially ridiculed before they were revered. I mean, let's look at someone like an Elon Musk or a Steve Jobs or a Vincent Van Gogh or an Edison or a, a Jonas Salk or a Henry Ford or uh, the, the creator of Amazon or Google or we could just go on and on. And anything that has moved the needle in society came from a brain of a person who was initially laughed at. I mean, the impossible is generally the untried. But here's the thing. When you are a visionary, you have these brave ambitions. You get this incredible idea. Your instinct says, this is going to make history. And then people start laughing at you. And you start getting ridiculed. Because 
the very nature of innovation and a beautiful idea means you're going to disrupt the marketplace or you're going to disrupt society. And at a deep level, that causes fear within people when they see a new idea. When you challenge the status quo, which is really what leadership and being iconic is all about, disrupting the status quo, whether it's in your marketplace, whether it's in, uh, if you're in, your, in your field of skill, you're going to be a disruptor. And so that threatens people and makes them scared. And what most people do is they laugh at you, they dislike you, they, some of them even start to hate you. And if you're really disrupting the status quo, they will kill you. Martin Luther King Jr., John F. Kennedy, Mahatma Gandhi. So my point is simply this. I know you're with me in this mastery session because you want to live a legendary life. You want to own your game in your professional life. You want to live a beautiful personal life. You want to have a giant, no, let's say gargantuan impact on humanity. Please do the interior work required to get to a level where the negative opinions and the chattering voices of the cynics do not knock you off your ambition. They do not knock you off your vision. They do not deplete your game. You see, that's the interior capability and capacity that's required from someone who wants to really be a history maker. You have to be so strong in your own skin that when people dismiss your ideas or they don't understand it or they laugh at you, you simply keep on going until they start to see the brilliance of what you do. I mean, look at a lot of the innovations out there. I mean, look at the inventions out there. At first, no one thought they would amount to anything. They, were, they really were ridiculed and laughed at. And now they're ubiquitous. Every one of us use them every single day. When we turn on an electrical switch, we, we don't sit there and go, wow, that was genius. But even the light bulb, Edison was mocked. He was so misunderstood. But now it's so ubiquitous, so commonplace, we take it for granted. And we don't really see him as a genius. Every visionary is first ridiculed before they are revered. So also remember, related to everything I've shared with you, leadership is a pretty lonely sport. And every great genius, every great producer spent a lot of time alone. And the reality is, you know, you can be part of the majority, you can be busy being busy, you can watch all the TV shows, you can be like everyone else, or you can play in the rare air of world class. But to have the results only 5% of the population have, you must be willing to think, be, and produce in a way that only 5% of the population think, be, and produce. And when you do that, you're going to leave the majority, you'll leave the herd, and you'll be called eccentric. Be okay with being eccentric, because all world changers were eccentric. They were considered strange. They were called weird. They were laughed at. They didn't fit in. But it was worth it. So I hope I've been of value in this mastery session. I hope I've given you some insights, deconstructing your journal later tonight before you go to sleep. All right. Can y'all see me? Hold on a second. Uh, I think that's good. Now, just, just to be clear, what I was saying about like my LBs or my or, or my my whoever fuck I was talking about, this is with what I've been told by other people and what I experienced. Now it's nothing, it's nothing personal. This is just how I feel, and this is just how I wanted to. I, 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 I have told them before this before, so this is nothing new. But the, what I'm saying is, uh, with the, the curse be this like this is. Uh, I was a teacher. Here's another example. I was a teacher, and recently, one of my kids. I ain't gonna say his name because I don't. I don't want to. You know. He. Uh, he, it was a group of boys that he, he he likes to play with, but he uh, before the, the school year had ended, he had got suspended, well expelled from the school because he brought a gun to the school. It was a play gun, but he brought a gun to the school, and he uh, he used to come in the after school program every day, 
and torture and used to just do the the, the absolute most. He used to uh, try to fit in with everybody who uh, with the cool kids per se. But every time that he would get in trouble, he'll try to blame it on one of them. But he wouldn't be the one that get caught because he never got his own. He had never had his own mind. He was just trying to fit in, and he wanted to bully people. So I used to try to be. I used to be trying to be tough on him. Like saying, like, "Hey, chill out, man. Think, have a mind for yourself." But since he wanted, to, since he wanted to to be liked by everybody, he got himself in more deep hot water. That's my thing. Like that's what that's what me. Like I, I have my own mind. I, I I think for myself. If you don't like what I'm saying, and before I say this, like I have looked at myself and I've changed what I need to change about myself. But if you do not like what I'm saying, look at yourself then. Look yourself in the mirror and wonder, like, well, maybe th th does he have some merit what he's talking about? Because everything I, 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 I've said is actually true. Everything I've said. But I have never said a word to anybody about it. Because if I said something to somebody about it, then I have to worry about, oh, well, maybe this person won't like me no more. Or maybe this person will do too much. For, uh, well, maybe he'll, he'll probably do too much. All I'm saying is, if you have a problem with me, or anything I have done, Please have the courage to come speak to me about it. Instead of me having to find out through somebody else, a third party. If we're friends, if we're brothers, if we're LBs, if we're chapter brothers, talk to me about it. And maybe we'll, let's come up with a let's come up with a, a way that maybe we both can change instead of me finding out through somebody else or with our family members who want to delete me off of Facebook because of what what my mom has to say about me or what her husband had to say about me. Like she she's she's a liar. She lies a lot. She lies a lot. But I'm going to tell you the cold hard facts and the truth. I'm not ashamed to say that. And if, you, if, 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 we, if we can't be friends because of what I just said, or if we, if we can't be around me because of what I just said, so be it. So be it. So be it. So if, if this is our last... Goodbye. Have a good one. Because if it takes me having to talk about it on a podcast to for you to understand what I have to say to you, that's the, the shameful part. That we couldn't have a sit-down conversation or you couldn't call me. Oh, we don't have your number. We we thought you were moving to L.A. or whatever you were doing. So that's that's the thing. Like you, you see everything I do on Facebook but can't have the balls to, 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 to write me a messenger. Or, if you see me on the street, walking down the street, you'll drive past me, LB. Friends. Family. Have the courage to be disliked. Have the courage to be disliked. Now, don't, don't just go out there just to be unliked. But if you're speaking how you feel, or if you're speaking truth, have the courage to be disliked. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Treat me like everybody else. If you got something, you got a problem, go to that person. Stop being messy. Stop being scared. Stop calling somebody else. Go to that person. And if that person keeps trying to hide from you, add them on Facebook. Are you are you are you hit them up? Hey, 
I heard we have a problem. What's going on? I never, do we need to talk? Which I've done that several times. Anyway, I want to thank everybody for uh, tuning in. Uh, Shelton, I, I saw your brother. What's going on, brother? If you're still on, Alex. Hold on, let me read what you Yeah, I, I may I may have put uh, exposed, well, said some stuff I sh probably shouldn't have said on here, but like effort, I mean, it's, it's out here now. If you got a problem with it, come and talk to me. There's a guy in the background right now. <laughs> Thank you all for tuning in to the AKJ channel. This has been another episode of Look Who's Talking. I'll see y'all next time. Make sure you like and subscribe on Facebook and uh, on no, well, yeah, Facebook and also Instagram. Uh, uh, not Instagram on YouTube, which is my, my page is called AKJ, but you might have to just within an AKJ production to find out find me and it'll pop up. Alright. Thank you all. And I'll see you all next time. Thank you all for tuning in to the AKJ channel. Please like and subscribe by pressing this button right here. If you want to watch more videos, please click on this video right here for the most recent update. Or just click on the video I might post right here. See you all later. Thank you.